Hello, welcome to the next installment for on statistics with R. So today we will be talking about the three types of t-test. I really did a video previously on the three types of t-test, your PET t-test, two samples t-test with equal or equal variances using Excel. So how are we going to do the same with R? I'll put the link, the video link in the uh, um, description below. Okay, so let's come back to here. How are we going to do that? Now, <clears throat> the easiest way is to um, just do, a, for example, we want to check whether it's glycosylated hemoglobin. Let's say we want to take this now hypothesis. Okay, now hypothesis. Oops. This. <clears throat> okay, that the average glycosylated hemoglobin for um, obese, obese patient equals to the average glycosylated hemoglobin for um, not obese. Okay. Then obviously the alternate hypothesis this is, is that the average glycosylated hemoglobin for Obese is not equal to the glycosic, average glycosylated hemoglobin for not obese. <clears throat> so let's do the first one. Okay, we want to do a two samples t test assuming e equal variance variances. Whether you use equal or equal variance, you have to decide on whether the variances can be assumed equal or not. And that is the the uh the topic of our previous video, okay? Uh, which we have Blinger's Killen's test for homogeneity of variances. Okay, so let's do this. But the function is called t test, <clears throat> and t test. What we want is uh, so we have equal variance. So we have glycosylated hemoglobin against your obesity. Okay. Our data is diabetes. Okay. But what we need extra variable is this thing called variance equal or equals to true. Okay. Or oops, more convention most people be acceptable. So this will actually generate the two samples t-test. Okay. Now, your p-value, this is the t-statistic, degrees of freedom, and the p-value. Now, p-value of 0 0.01 means that um, if the if the average, if the glycosylated hemoglobin, if the average glycosylated hemoglobin of the two samples are equal, the chances of getting this result that means this t-value or something even more extreme than this, okay, uh, a smaller number, is 1.658%. In this case, we reject the null hypothesis and accept the other hypothesis that the average glycosylated hemoglobin um, for obese is not equal to average glycosylated hemoglobin for not obese. So now, how do we do the second one, which is your two samples, t-test assuming an equal variance okay, this is even simpler <clears throat> what you have is you just remove this the last part you don't assume equal variance and that's where you have so unequal variance also we cannot reject the now hypothesis or rather, we reject null hypothesis because the p-value is less than 0 0.05. Okay, so the alternate hypothesis still is likely to be true. <clears throat> okay. How about the third one? Okay, we want to do a paired t-test. There's a third type of t-test. Okay, in third type of t-test, um, in our data set, what we can see here is that we have blood pressure for First systolic blood pressure and second systolic blood pressure. 
So we can actually test our null hypothesis that the average of the BP1S per systolic blood pressure minus second systolic blood pressure equals to zero. Okay. Alternate hypothesis would then mean that the average of the difference is not equals to zero. Now, what does this mean is basically if now hypothesis is true, that means going after you do a first um, blood pressure, you go out and wait for a while, come back and redo the second blood pressure, there's actually no difference. Alternate hypothesis means that the resting time between the first and second blood pressure measurement actually has a difference. Okay. So how do we do that? It's a bit uh, more complicated because if I were to do this, okay, I will take BP one S, BP two S, okay, and if my data is diabetes, okay, and what I have is that I need to have add equals to true, and the alternative two sided. <clears throat> okay. However, you realize that. This will give you an error. Okay. So the syntax is a bit different. What you need to do is it doesn't accept um, this data value. Okay. So in order to do that, <clears throat> what we need to put is you use our regular O method, diabetes. So you force it in. Okay, so this is the whole command. <clears throat> what you're measuring is <clears throat> whether that for di by the diabetes data set, the first BP1S is equal to the difference of BP2S, PET T test, and uh, oops, yeah, this is supposed to be full stop. Okay, there you have it. <clears throat> the, the T statistics is 3.09. Degrees of freedom is 138. And the P value is 0 0.002. Okay, which means that we reject the null hypothesis because the P value is less than 0 .0, less than 0 0.05. This means that the waiting time between the first and second blood pressure do have a difference. Okay, the alternative hypothesis is the true mean is not equal to zero. That means there's actually a difference. Okay, so that is where we end with all the three tests for uh, three different types of t-tests. See you next round.